Okay. So communication, I'm coming back to you. Now, the issue of employment. If you check the population of Aswase constituency or municipality, youth dominates. Muntaka, what has he done? All right, so we are speaking to facts and data. If you check the official Ghana Statistical Service, their livelihood report on poverty incidents in Ashanti region, I think the constituents or the municipal with the less incidence of poverty is Asawasi constituency. And the highest is Ejura and that of Afram Plains. Asawasi constituency is largely poverty free because of the socioeconomic interventions of the Honorable Member of Parliament. Him alone. Him, uh, him and his government. When I talk of his government, I'm referring to the NDC government. Because you will say that con government is a continuous process since he has been a member of parliament since the MPP and the NDC time. Maybe we have enjoyed some shit under the MPP, which is automatically no. That seat is empty. There is no MPP representation. Why? Because when they come to this program, they cannot pinpoint a single intervention or a program that they have commenced and finished under the administration of Nana Dodanko Ekufado. Not even one. So they have nothing important to show or to show. To show. That's why they are absent. And it goes on to uh, support our fact that Honorable Muntaka has been the best and will continue to be the best or member of what? Parliament for Asawasi constituency because of his policies and the pragmatic steps that he is carrying out his constituents. When you look at the data of uh, youth unemployment, unemployment rate during the NDC time in 2016 was 8.7%. As we are speaking today, population has increased. Our unemployment rate is 14.1% under the MPP. Every government is taking steps to reduce the rate of unemployment because once you keep the menace of unemployment, it will go on to increase, uh, to make your security and other things what very good for you. So as a member of parliament so passionate about his constituents, he is giving out, as the PRO just said, interest-free loans. We serve at a startup capital for all his constituents. Well, the only thing that you have to do is you write or form a group. Once you form a group of 25 persons, you come to his office. The interest is interest-free. And as I'm speaking to you, Rana, since the inception of this interest-free loan, Package by Honorable Munteka, he has disbursed over 1.2 million Ghana cities, which is over 12 billion Ghana cities. And it's interest free. Nobody will give, do that to you. And he is giving it out interest free because of one thing because Aswasi constituency is largely an Islamic community. And in Islam, you know how our principle frowns on what? On interest. Based on that, based on that conviction and religious abilities, he took out his, the money from his own coffers, give out to his constituents, go and work. After the years that you want to pay it back, come and pay it back without adding any what, any interest. How many members of parliament will wholeheartedly serve their constituents like this? Apart from that, in, in, uh, in harnessing the potentials of the youth in the constituency, Honorable Muntaka is the only member of parliament in Ghana who is running what we call MP's youth employment model. You know, we have the national youth employment model, which is run by the, uh, the central government. And on Honorable Muntaka's office, we have the Honorable Muntaka apprenticeship program, where all artisans, all masters in the constituency have been registered. Any prospective teenager, be it a male or female, who wants to learn maybe bakery, cosmetic, hairdressing, tailoring, Muntaka will foot the bill, put you at the work. Once you are able to pass and you are passing out, Honorable Muntaka will also give you machines and accessories that you are going to use to own up what yourself. How many MPs are doing this? It only takes Honorable Alhaji Muhammad Muntaka. So it doesn't surprise me that in the interviews that you are having, and based on the remarks that this woman just gave, that she sees no need for any candidate to come out against Honorable Muntaka because her school-going children have been given 
enough furniture so that when they go to the school, they will not sit on the bare floor. Even the current aspiring presidential president of the MPP, his hometown, Wale Wale, you will go and find people drinking in the mud, school children sitting we, we, and learning. We, we don't, I don't know that for a fact. Uh, oh, I can provide the videos uh, for I, you. I, I don't know that from for a Wale fact. Wale. So let's talk, a, let's talk about that. I'm making reference let's that talk about uh, they are all leaders. So whenever you are canvassing for your leader, you have to make what? Reference. And I'm bringing in Baumia to justify the fact that uh, some people are selfless, whilst others are not. Because Baumia's government is still in power, and he is not giving the best to his people, even his constituents in Wale Wale, in limiting ourselves now, now to that of us. It does appear that, yeah. it does appear that um, you are creating the impression that every single project or development that we see here um, um, came from your member of parliament. For sure, it okay. is true. Uh, does that mean that the municipal, and uh, let me also state this, that we invited the municipal chief executive. Um, he said, his answer wasn't yes or no, but he said maybe uh, you see what he can do. That was his answer to us. We also invited the MPP. Um, you spoke, I spoke with the communication, the constitutional communication, uh, officer for this particular constituency, and he was his answer was affirmative. So we are still expecting him here to defend some of the claims that have been made here. So we are still expecting him. Um, this is a balanced plat platform. We've given opportunity to all political parties to represent. As and when they come, we engage them. This plat platform wasn't set for any political party. It was set for the community, but they come in to also, I mean, uh, make their statement and all of that, which is allowed. So we are still expecting the other political parties to also come in and also make their respective statement.